stop looking for approval. And here's what I mean. Um, when I travel so much and I'm... But By the way, at the airport right now, just found a little corner at the sofas and sitting here. Uh, when I travel around the world, one of the challenges that I see in many people is they're constantly looking for approval from others. Um, just last few days, I uh, ran some amazing training right here in Bangalore and with some amazing uh, great professionals, subject matter experts, all of them. Uh, we had some bankers, IT professionals, a few people are in the managerial post. <clears throat> few businesses and one of the things that I see is um, many of them had the habit of seeking approval from other people hey do you respect me hey do you like me um, I will make sure I do this all these things at home so you like it and you like me I'll do all the things in the office so that you like it and you like me the problem with that is that when you're constantly looking for approval from other people, um, you don't control your own emotions, you don't control your own self. You're constantly dependent on somebody else's decisions for you. So you might have done a great work, but if that person is not liking you, then you're like, oh my God, I did not do a good work. In, in fact, you did. So your feeling, your emotions, your mindset, is being dependent on somebody else um, and that is not power you see power is when you can control how you feel how you think how you take action so you might have some people in your life it can be your children it can be your maybe your husband and wa or wife or whoever that person is maybe your boss that you really respect um, that you probably you seek approval from I'm not asking I'm not saying that you should do something so that they dis disapprove you no but you don't constantly want to look for approval. Um, I come from, if you know my story, you know that I come from a Bengali medium government school. So growing up, I did not have much confidence. Growing up, I did not have much um, belief about my own self. So I held back a lot. I always wanted to make my parents happy. I always wanted to make my brother happy. I always wanted to make, um, when I used to work for Business Standard, I always wanted to make my boss happy. When I used to work for, I mean, It's tiring, it's exhausting, it's, it's, uh, it's frustrating at one level. But the day I started taking charge of my life, the day I started taking control of my emotions, the, the, the day I started seeking approval from me, not, a, not from somebody else, my entire design changed of my life. Because now, I was not dependent on someone, I was completely somebody's calling he's giving approval to somebody else <laughs> he should so once I changed that my entire lifestyle changed I felt more confident that's when I showed up in this world in a powerful manner in my relationships in my health in my uh, in my day-to-day -day conversations meeting with strangers business activities everything exploded and skyrocketed and now the people that I helped in the last few days they have done the same thing now they are on their path to complete um, self-mastery for themselves uh, so that they are not afraid of judgment they are not afraid of failure they show up as the powerful version of themselves speaking their knowledge speaking their truth speaking with confidence presenting with excellence adding humor to the presentation when they come back home they are powerful they are not fearful they don't want to be judged or they are not afraid of being judged they are not afraid of um, not getting approval because they are not seeking approval so if you are at a place where you are seeking approval and most often generally it's by people who share your last name your family members that's who most of us seek approval from but once you overcome this habit and overcome this mindset pattern and get into your confident powerful self life is going to be so much fun for you that's my tip for you right now gonna be boarding on the flight in a few minutes my name is Bashal Sarkar always reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection it's all about connection